Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to another live. Tonight we are going to do beef stew in the microwave. Wait, the Tupperware microwave pressure cooker. <coughs> um. Let's see which way is unlocked. All right. We have got our base. And there is a fill, max fill on. Let me see if I find it. Right here, max. Don't go above that with any of your liquids, okay? And then, of course, you got your lid with your good silicone um, locking ring to seal it up good and tight. And then you just follow the notches. This goes this way to unlock, that way to lock. Of course, you've got your little steam valve to release some pressure. And of course, this little is your indicator knob. If it's unpressurized, it'll be down like that. But then if it's pressurized, like it just came out of the microwave, it'll stay up like that. So you have to let it, the steam and everything go down so it's safe to open. So you make sure, give it about 10 to 20 minutes. And your little knob goes down. Plus, we have an extra safety feature as our locking um, handle. So, what we're going to what we're going to use is our beef knot chunks that I got them on my hauls. Um, I think it came from fake meats. But anyways, I just followed on here of what. I wanted to, I wanted 12 ounces of reconstituted beef chunk. Mm -hmm. So I just followed the directions and that's what we get. So um, you follow the directions on the back to how to reconstitute. You can do it on the stove or in the microwave. And so it's so cold outside. It got so cold that we had to let the water drip last night. The cold water show our pipes would freeze. And we got snow last night. So we're snowed in. So I'm just going to dump all of our reconstituted beef chunks in here. Now if you're not doing vegetarian way, then just get you a cup a packet of your beef stew meat. And if they're too big of chunks, cut them down a little bit. So that goes in there. Now we're going to come over here and finish chopping our veggies. Um, I already did an onion. I'm working on, on some carrots. We're going to put some potatoes and celery. Hey Matt and Alicia. I'm using baby carrots and cutting them down to bite sauce pieces that will fit on a spoon. You chop your vegetables the way you want. Any questions yet? Not yet, baby. I just pulled out a couple big handfuls of carrots. I'm going to put quite a few carrots and celery in because that's our, my favorite part. Um, and Jamie's favorite part. Some people have 30 below. It was so today. cold. I went and fed the birds this morning. So they'll have yummy bites. Because they were swarming around the bird feeder saying, Um, it's empty. Fill it up, feed us. We have squirrels too that likes to get the sunflower seeds out of it. Of course, I do get also get unsalted peanuts and throw out there for the chipmunks and the squirrels. Hey, Lori. Okay, we got some carrots chopped up. Now let's do some celery. Two or three stalks or more if you like celery. I'm even going to put the leafy tops in. So we're just going to start chopping. <laughs> Renee. 
because the leafy tops have good flavor. Don't, 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 um, throw them away. You can put them in soups, uh, and ch chop them up real fine, put them in salads, like chicken salad, or actually, um, you can throw the little leafy things in with the salad, like, uh, you know, with your lettuce and everything, and all your toppings. take this over there and dump it into our pressure cooker and then we'll come back and rough chop our taters up okay all that went in now let's do our tater bleach kills bacteria I'm leaving the skins on these are Yukon gold potatoes. Use any potatoes that you want. Take the peeling off or leave it on. It's totally up to you. What's everybody having for dinner tonight? Don't laugh at my knife skills. <laughs> okay, there's one. Let's do this big one. And, Marcos, I, and, I, and I already scrubbed the potatoes. Burgers. So they're nice and clean. Chili. Mm. Red rice and beans. Sounds good. Chili Colorado style. Chili Colorado style. I've never heard of that. I'm going to have to look that up and see what that is. Chili and cornbread. Mm -mm. Cauliflower crust pizza. Chicken tacos. Dude. Chicken and green beans. Homemade chicken and noodle soup. Meat uh, yep. All sounds yummy. It does sound good. Thank you for sharing your meal ideas. Yes. Because there are people who came here and said that they did not have any meal ideas for tonight. Okay. So thank you for sharing. Sincerely. So we got two taters chopped up. I'm going to see how this is. And we might do the third tater. Let me see. General says chicken. Okay. Chick fil A. Um, actually, I think two taters is good for me. Two to three taters to what you what you want. Okay, now I want to find that max fill line again. Sarah is actually self-taught. She's never been to a culinary school, Chris. Um, my aunts and mamma taught me everything I know, and then of course I did a lot of you know research. And then finally, when we get the internet, where does that max fill line? Just give me a second. I wish they didn't put an arrow up here so they'll know where your fill line is on the look up above it. Okay, I know you're here. No, Susan, we've never been to Bluefield. Here it is. Here it is. Found it. Found it, so I'll push it back out, and right here's my fill on. So, we are going to fill up with water and then use our vegetarian, vegan beef broth seasonings to flavor it. So, I'll pull the back of the package directions on how much um, to use per water. We don't have an Aldi in our immediate vicinity. There is an Aldi like an hour away on both sides of the river. One in Kentucky, one in West Virginia, but it's an hour away to either one, so we don't make it down there very often at all. Okay. 
Okay, run it to feel long. That was just the best. Okay. Now I'm going to follow the recipe direction. Hey, uh -huh. none of your business. How many teaspoons per cup? Yes, we would love a Trader Joe's. Or a Whole Foods or something. Yeah. Uh, the closest Trader Joe's and Whole Foods is a good six hours or more away. I actually haven't looked at our local okay. temperature, Timothy, so I would not know what our local temperature is right now. Okay, we're going to put a little bit of garlic powder and onion powder to taste. And then I'm also going to put some salt in here. Because um, our broth ain't as salty as regular bouillon. So you adjust it to your taste. And then we're going to put a little bit of pepper to taste. <clears throat> and then let me, I forgot, I wanted to get some thyme and put it in it. Hey, Tim and Jill. Happy anniversary, Tim and Jill. Happy anniversary. Someone says that they try to make your tater tot casserole every Friday because they tried it and they loved it and they make it every Friday, baby. Good. If they that is a really good casserole. Yep. Yeah. All right. Someone's having pizza for dinner. I'm going to put a little bit of thyme and rosemary. I like that in my beef stew. So, you do what seasonings you would like. We have a question. Someone wants to know if you've ever used white pepper. On a couple Asian dishes I, ha I did before. Ever tried Moroccan chickpea stew? No, but I love chickpeas and I like Moroccan food, so. And I'm gonna put a little bit of rosemary and I rub it against my fingers to kind of break it up and get them oils going in your rosemary. And then I'm gonna take, I'll show you. I'm using a little cornstarch slurry. That way your beef still will get thickened a little bit. So it's a tablespoon and a half of cornstarch and about two tablespoons of cold water. Now, if you don't want to do the cornstarch, you can pop a um, beef gravy packet in. Okay, eat that cozy. Okay, now let's give this a good stir. Thank you, everyone, for your meal ideas. Sincerely. Yeah, because sometimes I get in a rut, too. Alright. Get our lid on. Follow our notch. How to lock it. Lord says to tell you, Sarah, that she's on your channel. She and her 11-year-old daughter have been watching your videos and love your videos. And they made your way egg rolls. They made egg rolls your way, Sarah. And different dishes also that they find that you can make. Okay. Thank you so much. Now we got our lid. And you make sure it's tightened to it's in its locking position. And then we're going to do the extra lock, which is the handle. Okay. Here we go to the microwave. We have not tried Walmart grocery pickup, although we don't if have it, it is offered in our area. It's we don't have it. I, I just checked last week. We don't have it in our Walmart yet, or our food city yet. So hopefully it will. Thirty minutes in the microwave. 
Mine is a high powered microwave. It's 1100 watt high powered microwave. And that's all there is. And then when it dings and it's done, I'll let it come down to temperature, the little pressure um, stick indicator come down, and then I know it's safe to open. How much snow did we get, baby? Did you look to see it on the line? Um, no, but we got ice on top of the snow. So it was very dangerous. They called all the schools, even in West Virginia side and Kentucky side, because we're close to Kentucky border. Um, I'm really not for sure. Someone from North Carolina wants to know when you're going to try jackfruit. Jackfruit? Mm -hmm. I've got it in the freezer. Um, it came from, um, I think it was Vegan Essentials haul, but way before I started doing the hauls on YouTube. So we'll do it again soon. Uh, I haven't tried it yet. I'm hopefully will like it. Um, somebody said a lot. It works good in uh, the barbecue, so we might try it on that first. That pot is actually a Tupperware pressure cooker that goes in the microwave. Yep, it's a microwave Tupperware pressure cooker. I'm looking to see if there are any more questions here before we sign off for now. Okay. And then I will come back with part two when it's done. And then you might get another sneak peek live late, late tonight for a snack. Um, recipe. And I said, probably think I'll do the mushroom cannon paste because I need to get them done. Have you ever made anything with rhubarb? Love rhubarb. I've, I've never met cooked with rhubarb, but I've had a strawberry rhubarb pot, and I love rhubarb. Alright. We'll go ahead and check you out now, and we'll be back whenever the dish is finished and ready to serve mm -hmm. with part two. Thank you, everyone. We'll be back.